History is made in our state. Today marked the first televised hearing in former President Donald Trump's case in which he and 18 other people charged with attempting to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election results. The people, here they are, indicted alongside the former president include his former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, former White House Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, and several state elected officials. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon live tonight in downtown Atlanta. Doug, the former president nor the 18 other co-defendants showed up in court today. They waived their right to appear, but at some point they are going to have to show up. Yeah, at some point, and we know at least two of them will have to show up in late October for a trial. We're now, think about this, just a little over a month away from the very first actual trial going on here in this case. It will be for former Trump attorneys Kenneth Chesbro and Sidney Powell. A while back, they had asked for speedy but separate trials. They said it was their right to do both of them, and a judge partially agreed. He said, yes, you can have a speedy trial. We'll set that for October 23rd, but separate, that was a request he denied today. We respect the court's ruling. We're preparing for our trial in October. Clearly disappointed, attorneys for Kenneth Chesborough now have to defend the former Trump lawyer alongside Sidney Powell, someone they say their client has never talked to or even met. The state is trying to use RICO in order to connect three or four different alleged conspiracies into one. Chesborough is facing charges tied to a scheme to use fake electors to give Donald Trump Georgia's electoral votes. Powell is charged in connection with an alleged attempt to steal data from Coffee County voting machines. But since they're both ready for court in October, Judge Scott McAfee said they'll go together. With all 19 defendants waiving their arraignments, none of them were in court on Wednesday, only their lawyers. Fulton County prosecutors say they have 150 witnesses to call and estimate the trials, no matter how many of them there are, will last around four months each. Well, I don't see 17 trials, 19 trials. Um, I think three or four trials could happen. L. David Woods, an attorney for defendant Ruby Giuliani, who was observing on Wednesday, said the judge should group defendants charged with similar crimes together into trials to save time and resources. Prosecutors holding fast to their desire to keep as many of the defendants possible in the same trial, arguing they were all part of the same alleged plan to get Trump back in the White House. Whether we have one trial or 19 trials, the evidence is exactly the same. And so as for when the other 17 defendants will actually be here undergoing trial, we don't know that, but there is a motion hearing set for next Thursday where we should learn more, if not the actual dates of the trials for the rest of these defendants. And again, keep in mind, that is if nothing happens in federal court where some of these defendants have asked this case to be moved to. We're outside the Fulton County Courthouse tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.